to do a makeup look today and I thought of using a couple of uh, new products that I have and have not used and there are products that I have used but haven't talked about them so this is going to be a chatty get ready with me and I will be talking about uh, some new products and some products that were launched months ago but I am trying them for the first time so let's get started so I have this Gleam Elixir from Henna Heine Beauty and uh, this is actually a glow serum which you can use before your makeup but you have to shake it well first and I'll show you how gleamy it looks Henna Heine sent me a couple of uh, their lashes and uh, their skincare products so using Gleam Elixir this time and I also have Hydra Elixir from them so the Gleam Elixir is pollen based so this is like an oil based uh, product. I'm going to use Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation in True Toffee number 12 today. I remember using this when it was initially launched but then I never used it uh, again even though I like this one and for sponge I'm using the sponge from Henna Heine Beauty only and the sponge is really good. It's very soft and squishy and uh, it's as good as those high-end uh, makeup sponges that I have used in the past. So I like this Nykaa foundation as it uh, gives you very nice uh, gives you very nice finish. Shade is slightly dark for me, but it works because um, I like to use slightly darker foundations since they cover the blemishes and everything. I can always go back and highlight my face with concealer once I have a smooth basic face. And this foundation gives you. Um, medium to very skin like finish I like foundations that are medium to skin like coverage as you can see the foundation has blended in so well and because of the gleam elixir my skin looks so beautiful and dewy I'm trying to grow out my brows a bit because last time the beautician really ruined this one foundation is done and for concealer I have the Body Shop Matte Clay Concealer in the shade 23. I'm using Sigma Domed Blending E43 to apply my concealer. It's dome shaped so it will, I'm hoping that it will work really well for the areas. And this concealer is pretty thick. So I'm just applying it with the help of this brush but I'm going to blend it with my sponge only because uh, I don't think the brush will be able to blend it that well because it's short and reaching into this pot with, uh, with my uh, sponge is slightly difficult because the pot is quite small now I'm going to use this wise she precision blender this comes with the wise she regular beauty blender so, I, so this concealer doesn't give you full coverage, it's almost like medium coverage concealer. I'm going in with more to build the coverage with the help of my sponge which I use to apply my foundation and blending the edges so that the concealer doesn't look unblended. Concealer is blended. It's looking a bit too light right now but once you apply powder and all it will blend in. I bought this Mina finishing powder long ago I think last year sometime and I never used it. I completely forgot about it. So it's like this. It's like a white powder which you are supposed to apply once your makeup is done to finish and lock in everything and as per the sales assistant this is like a, uh, this, is, this will make it makeup sweat proof and uh, make it last all day and it can be used on its own like on your bare skin as well and it will blur out your skin so I thought of giving it a shot today it's from Europe Girl PG036 okay okay it's taking away the shine 
and for all over my face i am using this euro pearl cosmetic brush in pg042 this is like a medium size fluffy brush you can use it for your powder or your blush i am liking this powder this blending my makeup in i am using lotte london 10 time bronzer it's really hard to find good bronzers in india matte bronzers and i was only using one from body shop but then body shop one is not this dark this one is quite dark as you can see so this is a really good option if you are nc42 and above and this is in the shade medium dark and it's actually quite dark for blush i'm using this essence matte blush in the shade berry me up very beautiful color For my eyes, I'm going to use this Nykaa Just Wink It palette in Crushed Berries. Used it before as well, and I like the colors here. Start with this color right here. Applying it just above the crease. So the palette is very nice. I like the colors here. The colors are quite pigmented. and uh, i like the big mirror it comes with it makes it really handy and travel friendly i know the price is a bit too high but the palette is nice so if it comes on sale i would highly recommend you you guys to grab it especially this one i don't know about other but this one is really good for your uh, wedding season party makeup and very good pack So the base color is done. I'm using this Pack 204 eyeshadow blending brush right here. And it's very dark burgundy color. And we'll apply this on the outer corner of my eye. That I will use Pack 114. Uh, this is a smaller blending brush, and I need a small brush to place the color here. First, I will pack the color. Then blend. Blending it very lightly. I don't want all the colors to mix together. Taking this pack one zero two, it's a flat eyeshadow brush. I take a bit of it on the brush, fixing spray on it, and then apply it. It is quite pigmented on its own, but when you add water, like when you make it wet, it becomes so much more pigmented. Looking so beautiful. Take a little bit of that burgundy eyeshadow and blend it. It's a brush from La Cara, and I'm taking this golden color from here. Smoky two-in-one gel liner, eyes and brows from the Body Shop. My benefit to boost those brow pencil in the shade number. So I'm going to apply this powder on the end of my brows. I'm going to set my makeup with this makeup fixing spray. This is from Faces Art Pro. And till the time it dries, I'll curl my lashes and apply some mascara. 
mascara. I am using this Lash Sport Waterproof Mascara from Body Shop. For my highlighter, I'm going to apply this jelly highlighter from Swiss Beauty and this is in the shade number 2. Next, I have these small lashes from Pack. These are Pack tapered lashes in the style 82. I have this Kiko Jelly Stylo lipstick in the shade 509. It definitely reminds me of my YSL lipstick, uh, which is very expensive. And this one costs, I think, 700 rupees or something. The look is complete. I wish I had used a different concealer under my eyes. And as you can see, the eye makeup looks pretty nice because the palette is quite pigmented and nice. And uh, the base makeup is fine, but the concealer is, wasn't, wasn't a good choice. So the lipstick I really like, it's very comfortable, very glossy, very balmy. So out of everything I've used today, I just did not like the concealer, rest everything is good. And I like the finish of this foundation, it looks very nice, smooth and very natural, it doesn't look cakey on the skin. And I also like the Mina uh, finishing powder because it has actually mattified the T-zone here as you can see. And it makes my skin look, uh, look really nice and airbrushed, really smooth. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this chatty get ready with me. If you did, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you are watching me for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very very soon in my next video. Till then, bye.